Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to, well, not welcome back, but uh, welcome to the first episode of my Roblox First Responders Coastal Heat tutorial series. So this is episode one, and we're going to be doing a helicopter tutorial today for anybody who just recently bought the helicopter game pass or has already had it. I I obviously have it. So yeah, let's get started. So first, first what you want to get Ugh, I'm gonna want to do is go up into uniforms. Uh, whichever helicopter you want to choose varies. Um, for this example, I'm going to do med flight. So, like, I guess EMS helicopter. Then you're gonna want to put on your pilot helmet, and boom. Uh, and you here's how you do your call sign. I like to just do air one. And then you've got your lens, shades, and VGs. Those are for night. And your mask, which I don't use. Okay. Well, I use a mask. I wear a mask, but I don't like using it in this game. It looks kind of creepy. So, exit menu. So, you're probably going to spawn like right here. So you want to walk over here to these green little pads. Hold down F for spawn. I don't know what it is on mobile. I don't think you can play it on mobile. Click whichever heli you want. You have the police heli, EMS heli, lifeguard helicopter, uh, R44, and the fire department. I'm going to use the EMS. Next, what you want to do, uh, front doors are F, back doors are R. And you want to press Y, and you have to do this in a short amount of time or else you're not going to be able to. I mean, you're going to get kicked off the pad, I guess. Now what I like to do is turn down my graphics quality so I have less lag. Um... But if you have, like, a really powerful PC, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, this is just, like, a basic description of the helicopters. Uh, you can use the rear doors. <coughs> and then you want to, if you want to lower the winch, you can press X. There's two types of winches. There's the little grabby holdy thingy, and then there's the, you want to press C to switch, and then press X again. And then you'll have the other one. G is to lower it down. Like so. And T to lower it back. Bring it back up. Um, I don't know if you can move it though. Uh, I think it's unmovable. Uh, then you can press X to bring it back in. Close your rear doors. Controls are pretty straightforward. Uh, shift to go up. Control to go down. Uh, w to go forward, S to go back, A, D, and then the rudders are E and Q. And then a little thing I like to do is if you're going really fast and you need to brake, so let's get up to like 100, like top speed, and then hold down the S. Does that. You have K for your lights. That'll look better in the night, but... And then your spotlight is L. Uh, you can just go into first person. I don't really like it. Um, but do what you please. Um, yeah, now we're going to move on to the fire helicopter. Alright, I put on my red flight suit for this one. Obviously, you can just get it right here. Okay, so fire helicopter, it's really nothing much. What you want to do is go to this helicopter, spawn, same controls as the EMS helicopter, F for front, R for back, Y to start the engine and stop it. Now you're going to see a little tank over here. That's your water tank. Now you want to go up like this with shift. It's a little bit slower. And rear doors. 
It doesn't have a winch this time, but it does have a few special abilities. Uh, you can drop water using X. Drops a bunch of water. I believe turret is C. And you can move it down with G and up with T, I think. Yep. Um... Pretty straightforward. I'm sorry, it cut out there a little bit, but um, one more thing I forgot to mention about the fire helicopter is that if you need to refill your water tank, so let's say for example that you dropped all your water. Let's just go boop and boop. Okay, now your tank is empty. See, we can't drop any more water. So we're going to go over to the water. And lower down just slightly into the water. And you can see our tank is filling back up. Uh oh. Anyways. Yeah, move on. Let's move on. Alright, I'm in my yellow flight suit for this one. Um. Same as every other. This time we're going to be going in the lifeguard one. I really don't like this one. Personally, I think it's kind of ugly. But same controls as before. Uh, now this one, I do believe it can land on water. Nope. Um... It's got a little stretcher. I don't think you can switch. I think it's only this one. But G to lower it. T to bring it higher. Oop, I think it's stuck. Alright. This one's just pretty straightforward. Just your average helicopter. Alright, we're going to move on to the last helicopter of the day. Okay, for this one, we're going to get in our state patrol outfit. And... Grab our other helicopter. Our police department helicopter. Now, I haven't personally seen a lot of people using this one. Same controls as before for movement. But I've seen a lot of people get really confused about the spotlight and stuff. Like, hey, uh, the spotlight. It, I can't turn it on from the pilot seat. And that is because there's separate seats. Here's the... Oops, there's a camera seat right here, so if we sit in it, press P, here's our camera, we can turn on night vision, we can move it around with WASD, zoom it with mouse wheel, and then next up we got the spotlight seat. Now that is what everybody's talking about. So you can move it up and down with WASD, you know, side to side, up, down. Now that what's I think it's really cool that you can turn on I don't really know what NVG I don't know what the night vision mode does. But um yeah. So the cool thing is that if you press E, you can make the light shorter, like thinner but you can make it have a lot more distance. So if you're like really high up in the air and you're in a pursuit, you can, and you can't lower down because you're in like downtown and there's a bunch of skyscrapers. You can use this. And I think the developers added a little secret if you look where my mouse is hovering. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, I think that's it for the day, um, tutorial, next tutorial comes out probably next, like, maybe tomorrow, something like that, I'll probably post the next one tomorrow, but, yeah, I'll see you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, um, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, have a great rest of your day. And whatever day it is, um, and I'll see you, uh, see you later. Goodbye.